Next is the guy who does a grab and punch, a shirt grab and punch. This happens a lot in a bar, old western type. Hey, come here, he's gonna grab you and he's gonna hit you. Now, the th number one thing to remember here is he's making himself vulnerable by grabbing you. That's eliminating one of his striking arms, plus it allows me to do all kinds of funky things to his arm, to his base, to his balance from a grappling perspective. Number two, he usually is gonna swing fairly wide with this arm. If we remember center line theory and strike on the center of his spine, his vulnerable points are there, his throat, his eyes, uh, his growing his chin, the knockout point, a lot of things on the center line theory we borrow from Wing Chun. If this guy comes with a punch, the straighter of two strikes lands first. Uh, a straight line's faster than anything else. He comes hooking around, I'm gonna go straight in, I'm gonna bring my shoulder up to defend myself and go to his eye or to his throat or, or punch, but I like the palm strike to the side of the face and the thumb automatically finds its way into the eye. So I'm gonna come in here and this arm's gonna come the shoulder's gonna come really high, the arm's gonna come high to protect myself from the punch. Now from there, I'm gonna grab the wrist somehow, over top, or just grab it here, and then the other arm's gonna come in and roll and chop at his elbow. It's a chopping roll. You'll see what it is in a second. So we're here, you're gonna grab the wrist somehow, and the other arm's gonna do a roll, maybe like you're kneading dough or something strange, it's hard to describe, or, or I don't know, grabbing a fish in water, whatever it is. It's a weird motion, it's rolling like a rolling pin. You're gonna chop down at the elbow and then roll and fold his arm into me. I can even come into headbutts and stuff of that nature, but I'm gonna drop my weight and take him down with this here. I'm gonna roll it in, I'm gonna here, step back, strike and roll him down, rotate him around, bring him to a very vulnerable position. I got a standing arm, kneeling arm bar right there, I can step over for a regular arm bar, punches, wherever his arm lands, there's all kinds of funky things you can finish him off with, kick him in the head, whatever you wanna do. He's vulnerable because he grabbed you. You're defending yourself. He had no right to grab you and he's gonna, hey man, maybe sometimes they even do this, they don't punch right away. I'm gonna clock you on, you know, like you see in the movies. As soon as this guy grabs me, go in. Defend that punch and then chop him down, bring him around and finish him off.